guys what's up um, just wanted to start the little series of videos that I've got going on in the works here um, this first video is just going to be an intro to me and um, just kind of what I'm all about what uh, just kind of a get to know you type of a thing um, and uh, so this one will be relatively short and some of you are probably going yes thank you I tend to get a little windy sometimes I get off track and I'm like you know, the proverbial dog squirrel type of a thing you know um, so I tend to find myself in some rabbit holes sometimes um, so you have to bear with me on that and I have my little notes here so I try not to I try to keep myself centered, focused, whatever. Um, so first of all, um, for those of you who do not know, uh, my name is Philip. Um, I am a, the, they call it here, the deacon of worship. Um, this is what um, every church kind of calls it, something a little bit different. Um, but uh, basically, um, I run the worship portion of our church service. So, like songs, and although we don't, I don't do a whole lot of the song choices anymore. We've kind of grown out of needing just one person to do the song choice, which has been really nice because uh, that's, believe it or not, that's quite a bit of pressure to choose songs for the church service, and it's when it falls solely on your shoulders. Um, but uh, the, speaking of growing out of that, when I, I first started coming here, um, I go to the Emmanuel Baptist Church. And when I first started coming here, there was one worship team and there was uh, uh, it was a mix of different, of, well, I guess at that time there was only one guy, which, um, Stephen, part of Beard Brothers for Christ, yeah, he was uh, the only guy um, at that time, and it was, it was awesome, because there was, I mean, just to have a worship team, it, it, was, it was cool, um, it was different, because we had come from a church of almost oh five or six hundred to our church which now is oh on a given Sunday we average maybe about 70 or so somewhere in that area and it has been so awesome to see God work through the worship here um, just in the time that I've I've been the deacon of worship. Um, oh, prior to that, there was no deacon of worship. There was no real um, official title. Um, it basically just fell on the one the one lady that she she took it upon herself to choose the songs and and all that stuff, and, and which was great because that they had somebody that would step up to do that. Um, but then when she left, they, they decided that they wanted to have, uh, an official title person that, that was, had a, a job description, you know, all this other stuff to make, just make it a little more official, I guess. Um, so I put, I put together a refuge night, which was basically just a bunch of people getting together and singing songs for a couple hours and um, everybody really enjoyed it and that's kind of what put my name to the forefront I guess um, and then they, uh, the pastor approached me and asked me if I'd be willing to, to to do it and I, of course I said yes and so fast forward three years and here we are um, well it hasn't been quite three years but 
somewhere around that area. Um, but uh, the worship team when I started was one worship team, and I think it was oh, five, six, maybe seven people, something like that. And then as God started working on, on people and, and started tugging on people's hearts, and we went from 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 that one team of seven or eight people to now we have four different teams. We have a, um, a women's team. We've got a men's team. Um, we have a mixed team. Um, and then we have a children's team as well. So that makes up for a grand total of, excuse me, uh, probably right around 20 people. And I, it's just been so awesome to see um, people that have come up uh, just for the sake of the story. Um, I had uh, one of the guys on our guys team, he's said that he's been He's been wanting to join the team for a very long time, and he's just been, you know, hesitant and 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 just, yeah, I don't know, and but I really want to, but I don't, I just don't know. And then he said, well, hey, one day God's voice was just too much to resist, and he he said, yep, I I've got to do it. And so now he's on, he's on the men's team, he's on the mixed team. Um, he goes around with us when we do certain things outside the church. Um, and it's just been awesome to see that, see God in all of that. And the the people that are stepping up and being lifted up that, that want to glorify him and want to put themselves out there that might be pushing themselves into their uncomfort zone. And that's just been really cool. Um, we do do a lot of things outside the church. Uh, I think I'll save that for a different video because that's, there's, yeah, I'll do that in a different video. We'll do um, what we what we do and what I would like to see us do and how that kind of interacts with each other and how that has kind of played into some of the decision making and stuff. Um, So, like I said, rabbit hole. Um, so between, I can't decide which, which part kind of amazes me the most. Um, the the simple fact that God has has blessed the worship here so much you know through the, the growth of the worship teams um, uh, through the giving for certain things we've just bought a new soundboard that we probably wouldn't have been able to do without a lot of the giving that was that was done um, or the kids team the kid te kids team just blows me away so I'll tell you how the kids team got basically got the idea came about. We were up on stage and we're singing uh, "Blind Man," which is one of the which is the kids one of the kids' favorite songs. They know it by heart. They can sing it a cappella, um, and it's just really it was just a really cool song for them to do. And and we're up there singing, and the kids were all sitting down in the front row. And so this entire front pew was nothing but kids. And when we got to that song, they stood up and they belted that song out and was dancing and just having a blast. And that's really when God said, yep, you need to have a kids worship team. 
so I went around to the parents and talked to some of the parents, and then I brought it to the kids, and without hesitation, they say, yeah, we're down, we're there. And these kids will, they're fearless. They're absolutely fearless. They'll sing a new song, they'll sing a cappella, they'll sing old hymns that they've probably never heard before, but they'll, they'll give it a try and they'll sing it. And so it's just a real, it's been a blessing to me to see their, their heart through their singing and their music. Um, Cause that's the other, the kids choose their own songs that they sing on Sunday morning within reason. They you know, obviously skillet probably isn't going to be a very welcome song on Sunday morning. However, the kids team is the one team that could probably get away with that. <laughs> um, so just the fact that they get up there and they sing and they they put the work in, they show up at practice and um, they don't just sing what we call DVD songs, which is basically like a lyric video off of YouTube. Um, they'll sing with the guitar, they'll sing with, um, with no instruments at all. Um, we don't have a piano player at the moment, but I have no doubts that they would have absolutely no qualms whatsoever with singing with the piano. Um, so yeah, that's been, th those, those two things have just been really a real big blessing to me because I'm I'm the type of person that when I I take something on like this I get overcritical of myself really really quickly like um, I'll say things like oh you're gonna mess this up or things are gonna fall flat and things like that and I guess that just goes to prove that. God doesn't want you comfortable. He wants you out in, out of your comfort zone. That's where he's going to use you the most. That's where he's going to shine through you the most. So I guess my challenge to you would be if you find yourself sitting there saying to yourself, I really feel like I should be doing that, but man, that would be really, really uncomfortable for me. Or I really don't want to do that because I'll get embarrassed or I, I, you know, whatever the reason might be. My challenge would be to just step out of the boat. You know what I mean? I mean, picture. I mean, you can picture that scene in your head where, where the, they're they're all they're all in the boat, and that storm is just raging, and. The wind's blowing like crazy, and then, you know, I picture myself sitting in that boat, and I see this one guy get up, and he looks off the, off the boat into the distance, and all of a sudden he starts talking out there, and then you look out there, and you see that he's talking to Jesus, and then he gets out of the boat. What? Yeah. Yeah. And then he gets out of the boat and he's walking on water. Walking out there on the water right there with Jesus. Until he notices the storm around him. The wind blowing, the waves, all that stuff. He starts noticing that stuff. Then he starts to sink. So part of that challenge is when you're stepping out of the boat, when you're getting out there and out of your comfort zone, Don't lose focus on Jesus, because that's what's going to get you through that, and that's going to make him shine even better through you. Because people know when you're out when you're out of your comfort zone. They know. I mean, everybody knows that the songs that I don't really know all that well. They know. They they can feel when I'm out of my comfort zone. They can they can sense that. But if they can sense that, but at the same time, they're seeing you 
succeed in whatever you're doing, you, then all you got to do is point up. Say, he's the reason I can do this. He's the reason that I can do whatever it is that I'm doing. And more than that, he's the reason that I'm succeeding at whatever I'm doing. So, okay, that's my, that, was, that was my challenge for you. Um, if you ever find yourself in that type of situation, all you got to do is just in your own head say, okay, God, I'm going to do this. But I'm going to do this knowing that you're going to shine through it. And if you focus on that, if you focus on him shining through you by you being in your uncomfort zone, all things are possible with God, right? All right, guys. Well, if this is the first video you're seeing, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Until next time, I love you. God loves you. Peace.